UNO school officials say there's no way to match the number of parking stalls to the number of students, leading many students to park in the surrounding neighborhoods. There's usually a good number of free spaces in the park or on the surrounding streets. Each school year, UNO students are forced to find a solution to the overcrowded lots on campus. That solution, the Elmwood Park neighborhood. I didn't buy a parking pass this school year just because I knew that there was like a limited amount and I knew that if I had one, probably wouldn't be worth it and there wouldn't be very many parking spots. Even off campus, these stalls fill up quick, leaving little room for the public to park at public parks. This is the first time we've been here since school started. We were fortunate there was one spot open, but it was just one spot and there were a lot of other people looking for spots when I found that one. There are 15,000 students currently enrolled at UNO. In five years, the school projects that number to increase by 5,000. School officials say it's impossible to offer 20,000 parking stalls to match the number. Expecting every student to bring a vehicle to campus and to be able to have a parking space probably is not as realistic, but without a doubt, we know that we have other solutions. Those solutions include shuttle services from the new Baxter Arena at Exarban Village. We want them to feel like this is their campus and not necessarily if they don't have a parking spot. For students like Brandon Sybil, he'd rather get lucky nearby. Some days I get here and it takes you know, 20 minutes or so to find a parking space, depending on the time that you arrive. Leaving those who want to enjoy Elmwood Park to battle for stalls. I do have some friends that actually live in this neighborhood, and when I messaged them that I was coming here, they said that it was a little too difficult to find parking and that they come on the weekends instead. And school officials expect to add about 1,400 stalls by next school year. Reporting live at UNO, Rebecca at KMTV Action 3 News. And